Hello, welcome to my weekly look ahead video and obviously the news that has completely dominated events of Parliament and the whole country has been the killing of my parliamentary colleague David Amos which has hit everybody really hard and there's a coming back to Westminster as I did on Monday morning there's a, a real gloom about the, the place. I was actually abroad on holiday last week when the tragic news came through and so it hit all of us hard and then coming back to be with colleagues on Monday there's a genuine feeling of sadness across all the parties and so yesterday we had a few hours of people paying tribute to David Amos. Uh, so many people wanted to do it I wasn't able to get in with my own comments uh, alas but it was marked by the genuine sadness and respect for a parliamentarian who held some very strong views on some quite contentious subjects but people held him in such huge respect and there's been the outpouring of, of love uh, and I think recognition of the sort of kindness of David Amos and the different uh, side that he brought to, uh, uh, to politics that it was uplifting for all of us who were part of that. We then went on yesterday evening to process the whole of Parliament of Commons and Lords went across to the St Margaret's Church, which is the Parliament's church next to Westminster uh, Abbey for a, a service of uh, remembrance and it was a deeply moving event. The first thing I did on Monday morning, I had to go to a meeting at the Shoreham Centre and I walked along Shoreham High Street and I was struck by how many people stopped me just to express their condolences and to very kindly ask after my own safety as well. And I just want to say thank you to the many people who sent me email um, messages saying in many cases look I've never agreed with you um, politically and uh, there are lots of things that divide us but I just wanted to say thank you for the work you do as an MP and do keep uh, safe and many of my colleagues have had many similar messages and they are greatly um, appreciated there's a condolence book and I will pass on the condolences of the people of East Worthing and Shoreham to David's family and, uh, and friends and I know that has been a great comfort uh, to them as well. It's very difficult when you lose a colleague. I've known David for over 25 um, years. Great character, suddenly he's not, um, he's not there. But life must go on. And I know David above all, who had a great sense of humour, would uh, not want us to be glum at, um, at his, his passing. So Parliament will go on. And we've got to get back to some degree of uh, normality this week. And so it's a busy week in, uh, in Parliament. Uh, on Tuesday, there's going to be a debate which the opposition have instigated around small um, businesses. And then we've got uh, an important uh, debate on the ongoing coronavirus regulations, with which I have some uh, concerns. Uh, on Wednesday, we have got the Environment Bill, a really important piece of legislation is coming back for a report stage. There'll be lots of, um, uh, let's come back from the House of Lords, there could be lots of further amendments to be made there before that piece of legislation goes, uh, goes through. Uh, then we've got debates on COP26, and I'm looking forward to going to COP26 myself in person in uh, Glasgow in a few weeks' uh, time, and I'll be organising an event in the constituency to report back on, on that. On Thursday we've got a debate on World Menopause um, uh, Month, which is an issue that actually is, has been raising its profile in, uh, in Westminster uh, as well, and I've been involved with that. On Friday I'm going to be staying in the House because we've got various important private members' bills that day. And then we've got a whole raft of meetings this week on everything from the future of the IKEA site at um, New Monks uh, Farm, where I'm uh, working with the council and with other organisations to see if we can't get a a high-tech business part there which was my preference uh, all uh, along rather than uh, another yet another retail um, site. Uh, I've had a meeting about Wedding Homes, I've got a meeting about youth work, um, we have the uh, Home Fair Select Committee with our ongoing inquiry about um, rape cases and how they're investigated and how we can do much better on getting more of them to court and prosecuted. Um, I've also got a meeting about, because uh, it's National Lorry Week, who knew? But obviously it's very topical with the ongoing problems of uh, HDV driver shortages. I've got meetings about refugees, I've got a meeting with GTR, the train company. I'm going to be raising various points that uh, constituents have taken up with me about the shortages from services. 
Uh, and I've also got a meeting about puppy smuggling, which I know has a lot of following within the constituency as well. Uh, on Friday, when I'm finished with private members' business here, I've got some meetings around primary schools in Shoreham. And on Saturday, I'm going to be holding a regular seat surgery at Southwick and Southwick um, Square. Obviously, there's been a lot of talk about how MPs and our staff should be protected in future. And this is going to be a really difficult one because David Amos, above all, who was really keen and really successful at getting out of his office and engaging with constituents, the last thing he would want to see that his death has led to MPs having to become more uh, remote behind some ring of, um, of steel. I will obviously take advice from the police and we will have security measures that will be instigated. But I think holding surgeries is an important part of my job. I particularly like holding street surgeries on Saturday mornings as I do in Shoreham, in Worthing, in Southwick and Lansing. Uh, and I'm certainly going to do everything I can to continue with that and I would hope people will continue to use me and be able to approach me and engage with me because frankly that is the job of an MP and if we couldn't do that it would be very difficult to do our job. So we will adapt, we will go forward, we'll get over the horrible events of the last um, week but again thank you everybody for your very kind and much appreciated me messages uh, about my safety uh, and appreciation for the job that MPs do, which is not always fashionable, but we're just doing our job.